Alright guys, welcome to a new video. Check out this bike we're going to be picking up today. 300 bucks for a 2000 Cobra CM50. Um, site runs good after you can get it started, but they said that uh, it needs a throttle cable and a kickstart return spring. These bikes go for like a thousand bucks. They're race bikes for little kids. And um, they're really, really fast actually. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited to see what this thing looks like, how fast this thing goes. I'm very curious. Uh, I've, I've heard of these bikes, but every time I've seen one, it either doesn't run or just needs way too much work or it's like way too expensive. So uh, let's head out. This thing is in Princeton, Wisconsin. Let's head out, grab this bike, and then dig into it. I bet you we can bump start this bad boy. So stay tuned, should be exciting. Here at the gas station, filling up. We're about to head out. We've got 55 minutes on the clock here. Hopefully the bike is still there when I go, because uh, it's pretty cheap, and you never know with people nowadays. They might sell it on you. So hopefully it's still there, and hopefully we can get it running. So stay tuned. Should be back in the truck in no time. All right guys, we're almost there. Five minutes away, four miles away. Um, I'm really hoping this bike is gonna be good. I talked to the guy who's showing me it, because um, I think his son-in-law listed the bike, but he wasn't gonna be home. I wanted to make sure the guy was home, so I called, um, his name was Mark, and um, got the information. So he's gonna be there, there's no one else coming for the bike, which was good, because um, sometimes, I've been in situations where I get there and other people are looking at the bike, which is really sucky, and then they end up buying the bike, and then I end up going home with nothing, and um, since this was like an hour drive, I just wanted to make sure. So I called the guy ahead of time, got that all figured out. I'm the only guy coming, so we should be good there. Well guys, we got the beast back there. Um, we'll probably be able to get it running today, hopefully. We'll take a look and see what it looks like back there, but um, yeah, it, it doesn't look too bad. It's a lot smaller than I expected, but should rip pretty good. The guy that sold it, really nice guy. Um, he said his sons and stuff all uh, rode dirt bikes and raced and stuff, but um, he said that that thing just flew. That it's just a crazy motor attached to that bike. So it's a little two-stroke. Um, it's got the big fatty pipe on it, which is pretty cool. And uh, it's, I believe it's air-cooled. I don't think it's liquid-cooled. But 250 bucks for that bike, I think that's a steal. Um, we'll get it home, check it over, uh, really take a look at it. I'm guessing we could probably get it going today. If not, we'll we'll do it tomorrow. But um, yeah, it's it's a cool little bike. You guys will be surprised on how cool this thing looks. All right, guys, made her back. It's a little windy, so bear with me here. But we'll take a quick look at the bike. So this thing's a Cobra. Pretty dang cool, little two-stroke top end here. No clutch, so it's automatic, which kind of sucks. So we can't pop start it. Um, but yeah, you can see it's got the shock in the back. Pretty easy to work on. He said the brakes work. Um, it's got the Cobra no lean pipe, it says. A little dented up, but not bad. Um, air cooled. And then it's got the little silencer in the back as well. Nice little shocks on it. Um, cool little tires. It's got the air filter up there. That looks like it's not too great. Definitely a cool little race bike, and you don't really see too many of them. So I'm pretty excited for it. Um, so we'll get it off the truck and then get it inside the garage and try to work on it a little bit here. See if we can get it to pop over, start up, and go from there. bike out. For comparison, I'm just going to stand next to it quick so you guys can see how big this thing is.
All right, so we've got the bike right here. So the issues that I know of um, is the throttle cable is broken and um, the kick lever doesn't grab all the time. So the return spring is broken, I guess. Doesn't really feel like there's too much compression either. So we'll have to dig into it. We'll first check for spark, and then um, probably, probably just see if we can spin the engine over. Maybe there's a flywheel underneath here. We can spin it over with a drill and try to ride this thing. Um, and then the next step is going to be to take off that cover and see what's underneath there. I'm guessing that gets pretty complicated, but we'll see what happens here. I guess we have to fix the throttle cable as well. So let's start with. Uh, the throttle cable and see if that's broken and then we'll dig into the spark plug see if it has spark and then we can try to take off this cover and see if there's a flywheel underneath there um, we can take a drill to it and then spin it see if we can fire it up I think that's the, the steps that we're gonna take and um, yeah should be exciting all right so first thing we're gonna do is take a quick look at the throttle cable supposedly it's broken Yeah, that's that's definitely needs to be replaced. Um, no way around that. So it looks like there's some hex heads in here. We can take off that whole mechanism. I don't know if you guys can see in there or not, but it's pretty dang ratty. It's all frayed and really bad. So let's take off the whole mechanism and get that cable out of there. That cable is really, really bad. We'll put all this stuff back together so we don't lose it. All right, so the cable is good to go here. <clears throat> now we can just, if, if this thing starts, we can just pull up with this. That should be fine. All right, so uh, we found out the cable's junk. Next thing to do is check for spark. So let's try to get the spark plug out of here. Man, those are tiny little bolts. Look at these things. These are seven mils, seven millimeter. So tiny. <laughs> All 
those are gonna be pretty pretty uh, easy to lose all right so the spark plugs right there let's take that out of there So we're running a uh, B8HS plug. Plug looks a little bit black, like I was running a little bit rich, but it's not too bad. Um, so yeah, let's check for spark now. You guys can see that. All right, the cord's right in the way. All right, check this out. It's very sporadic, so it it uh, it sparks once in a while, but not every single time. Let's check this out. So like every four pumps, it then sparks. So I think that's the problem right there. Um, that's not great. Um, so it could be the spark plug. I'm gonna go check and see if I have another spark plug like this. B8HS. All right, let's see if there's a flywheel underneath this cover over here. I'll show you guys what I see. So, this is what we're looking at right now. Um, I believe this spins and then it signals it to spark right there. I'm just looking to see if it's dirty at all. Uh, it doesn't look like it's too bad. So let's hook up a drill to this and see if we get some good spark. All right guys, we're gonna attach the drill to the flywheel right here, and then we're going to ground the spark plug to the cylinder and see if it sparks. Um, I think the kickstart isn't getting enough spark. I don't think it's spinning enough, but I think if we do the drill, we should see sufficient spark. Let's just try it out. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know if you guys could see that, but we were getting good spark. So what we're gonna do now is um, we're going to go to the other side, and we're gonna put we're gonna put some premix down the spark plug hole, and just see what that looks like. I also would like to take off the head and take a peek at the piston um, because it just feels low on compression. But uh, let's first see if it starts up with a little gas thrown down there, and then we'll. We'll check the compression after. I've got the compression tester actually. We can plug in there and see what it's running for compression because I think that'd be interesting. So let's just see if it first starts up. If it doesn't start up, we're gonna check for compression. All right, let's grab the spark plug. And uh, we're gonna dip it in the mixed gas right here. Just made a little concoction here of mixed gas. And 
dump a little. Then we're gonna dump a little down the cylinder here. Tighten it up a bit. All right, take the drill over here. Now we're gonna give it a good crank. I remember last time I tried this with the Warrior, I almost broke my wrist. I don't think we're gonna have to worry about that with this one, but we'll see. All right guys, here we go, moment of truth. See if this thing can start up. It didn't start up, but I'm guessing that this air filter is not the greatest. It looks pretty bad, um, so I just took that off. We're probably going to throw some gas directly down the carburetor. That sounds like the most logical thing to do at this step, um, if it's not starting with the drill. So what we're going to do is give a little bit of that gas, dump it down the carburetor. I have no idea if gas is going to the carburetor because it's not a clear line. So um, yeah, let's just do that quick. She wanted to go. She started up though. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that. <laughs> oh, I think she's going full throttle right there. Oh, geez. <laughs> oh, gosh. That scared me. Wow. So it, it runs. That's awesome. So it just needs to be gone through. Oh, it's running clots in there. I can smell the clots. Man. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, that smells so good. That's awesome. It did start up. That's that's pretty cool. That is really cool. I did not think it was going to go. We were on that drill for a while and it would not go. So I was surprised that, that thing took off. This thing, I bet you, just screams. Did you hear that thing? It sounds so good. So what we're going to do is, um, next video, we're going to take apart the carburetor, go through the entire bike, hopefully ride this thing next video. I, that, that would be sweet. Um, if we can start it up like this, or with the kickstart, that'd be awesome. But yeah, so next video, we're gonna take a look at the kickstart. We're going to get this thing running, carb clean. And yeah, it's gonna be ripping around, hopefully next video. Uh, the old drill method worked once again. I was just steady on the drill. You could see me just steadily doing it, and all of a sudden, Boom, takes off. 
kind of scared me a little bit, not gonna lie. But um, yeah, it's it wants to rip. But anyway, leave a comment down below. Definitely like the video, helps me out a lot. And subscribe and turn on post notifications if you guys wanna see the next video because you're not gonna wanna miss it. So anyway, that's the video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. My Instagram is two underscore vintage underscore. And I have a new Facebook page where I'm posting smaller videos on. So if you guys wanna go hit up the Facebook page, it's Facebook um, to vintage. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Thanks for subscribing. Hopefully you guys have a great Valentine's Day. And until next time, we are out. Oh.